G'day guys, how's it going? Jim Bags here, and this is the last PS Plus free game for November. It is. Wow, I just blanked on the name. <laughs> Everybody's going to the Rapture. And I heard about it when it came out, it seemed really cool, but I never actually got around to playing it, so getting it for free is a massive bonus. And it's a $30 game, so it basically pays for a three month PS Plus subscription just getting this. Six gigabytes though, so it's a pretty big download if you don't have much internet or fast internet, it can be an issue or if you share the internet at your place. But yeah, so this is just to help you guys make up your mind as to whether or not to download it yourself. This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Oh no. So, from what I've read in the short description, there's been a rapture or an Armageddon or, you know, some event where everybody's dead or disappeared or something. I think dead, more so. And um, we have to piece together the story from the dead people's memories or something. So, I don't know. We shall see. It's, it's an amazing looking game so far. I'll give it that. And I'm just getting this thrilling, well, oh, thrilling? Haunting, sorry, effect from the vocals. Just chills right up my spine. Oh. Oh, okay. It started. Oh. That's cool. I didn't realize. Um. Well, let's see if we can find out what what's happened. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep we working to try don't. and understand it. Wait, we? Is there more than one? You can use them to find what you're looking for. Them? The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. So that was some cryptic message, I'm guessing. Okay, this is just creepy as already. It really does feel like the world's ended. Jeez. Okay, just getting over that sort of creepy feeling of I am the only person. Um, so I can't go in the observatory just yet? There's like tools and shit laying around. Well, let's, let's head into town, I guess. At least there's not going to be any scary monsters or anything, so I don't need to be too worried. It's just an eerie feeling, not a scary feeling. Oh man. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and tech. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. I Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and reason. television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact <coughs> with other people. <coughs> Do not Excuse attempt to sense. telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Of 
what was the event? I guess that's what the game's about, finding out what the event was, so... Ooh, this, this I can see myself playing as well. This month has been very good. All four games are definitely fun in differing measures. Like, this has just got me so intrigued, I just want to... I want to know. Gotta know. I'm gonna know. <laughs> I'm trying to do my job. What the fuck? You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then okay, so there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup right, generators. Cool. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Anymore. Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? <laughs> you let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Everybody's Happy. important in the workplace. Off. Come on. Ah, so. Yeah. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No, mm. Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower Six. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Well, I wonder what happened to Stephen. Oh, this this is very intriguing. I must admit, that, I don't want to miss anything. Probably uh, speed up certain parts of this because it's probably going to be a lot of walking. So that's obviously another memory. Is there anything up there? No. Okay, so what do I have to do? I suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be it's so hard to rude. stick with them to actually get if the conversation. They are so concerned a, a that they are level. willing to close off the roads. I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Bob, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery <laughs> won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Cracking headache all of a sudden. Oh, he started getting a headache when they're out near the quarantine zone. That's a clue. Time to find the next one. It's Jimmy's Clues. It's going to be the telephone. Of course it's going to be the telephone. I don't know why I'm looking around for anything else. Ooh, bird watching. Stuff. Who's that? I mean, Hello? It sounds pretty damn boring. Hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started oh. spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. So that, what, what? I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. 
What the fuck? It's like some electrical plague thing or something from from what I'm gathering. I must find out what this is. Yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the number slightly wrong. <laughs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together. You and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh so, all you want. So what happens to you? But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> they just give you little snippets that make you just want more. Oh, what is that? Just... Obviously, they weren't allowed to telephone out of the local area to try and stop it from spreading. But how has it killed everybody that Kate, who we are obviously, is still alive? On you, Kate. You're doing something right. Are they trying to camp out here or something? Can I open this? Just, just a boat in the shed. Imagine just like wandering through people's backyards. That'd be weird. I mean, you know that there's nobody there, but you're still just wandering through someone's backyard. Okay, there's obviously something in the Jeep. I'll get to that in a second. I'm just going to check this house. Definitely locked. Okay, what might be in this Jeep? It's loud, I just can't find it. Maybe it's just a standard radio. That would make sense. Oh, it looks like there's so much to explore. We've got the flu. Hmm. Oh, now that would be a dream, just walking into a pub. Yard glass on the wall and everything. Bloody lovely. You just go hard. Forget the world's even ended. Get bloody legless. Fucking hammered. Ale of the day, 50 pence. 
Damn. This is set in the 80s or something. I don't think I forgot to mention. Is that more memories? No. So what was the point of walking in the pub apart from making me feel like a drink? You know, they uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Who the fuck? Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your valets have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. Huh. It's about the community. <laughs> be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> not very that. progressive. Well... You really think Semi that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. They just stay out of my way. Well, this is going to have a lot to it. But anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope I've helped you guys make up your mind as to whether or not you want to download this. I'm, as I said, I'm so curious as to what's going on. I will be playing it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, learned something, have a good one, and I'll see you when I see you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.